ごめんなさいすいません Excuse me sorry for that sorry about that My name is Inoko from、uh, Team Lab、um, It's really、um, not clear what Team Lab actually does、uh, We have about 300 people in the office、uh, There may be offices where I don't know Maybe a little less than 400 actually work for Team Lab Digital technology and creation.、Uh, mankind now has、uh, the digital、uh, concept, and、uh, mankind, I think, will、uh, be elevated to a new stage, I think. And、uh, we want to move、uh, mankind forward. And so, innovation、uh, through technology. And through art,、uh, changing the values of、uh, mankind. I think、uh, we believe.、Uh, Very truly, that uh, this is uh, going to happen. But、uh, that alone is not、uh, alone for us to、uh, win our daily、uh, bread. So that is why we're engaging in internet and other things. We have a lot of specialists. We have programmers,、uh, architects, and CG animators. and、uh, All these people gather to、uh, engage in different projects.、Uh, so, when we do many things. And so, I'd like to、uh, take examples of things we're doing in connection with the、uh, cities. That is what I hope to do. Projecting images onto clouds is、uh, what we've attempted to do here. Very simply,、uh, we took projectors there、uh, to uh, project images. And、uh, we projected images、uh, onto the clouds、uh, in the air. We doodled on the clouds. This is what we did、uh, last year. We created a Christmas tree.、Uh, it's in、uh, Fukuoka in、uh, Canal City where we created a Christmas tree. We、uh, built up LEDs.、Uh, maybe it's hard to understand. In a cylinder, we、uh, piled up LEDs、uh, to create、uh, a Christmas tree. And、uh, a sculpture is created which moves. And so we created a large moving Christmas tree. It's not just an animation. The people around、uh, would use their smartphones and they can throw ornaments onto the tree and it appears when they throw it. Like that. These are illustrations、uh, which people have、uh, thrown onto the tree, which attaches onto the tree. The same concept is used here for、um, We did a Christmas tree in the wintertime. In the summer, we thought、uh, it should be fireworks, so we created,、uh, using the same concept, the fireworks. And the people around、uh, can use their smartphones. And you. Pick a screen and、uh, you choose、uh, or you create your own fireworks and you throw it.
This is also 3D, not a plane. We did this one in the summertime. This is a uh, Kaga in the Seto Inland Sea, and they always had uh, water festivals here. They would uh, make fountains out of uh, the seawater. It's the scene of the Genpei Yashima battle. And so uh, the same battle is uh, reproduced uh, at the site. Uh, it's water, so you can it's you can see through the, to the other side. We've uh, recreated the battle. At the Seto Inland Sea, um, we decided to go fishing uh, using the water screen. There are several uh, fishing poles and strings on the fishing poles, and uh, you have the uh, you have the reel here. And uh, when you catch a uh, uh, if a green fish is caught, and if you have a green uh, phone, then it starts vibrating, telling you that you've caught a fish. And if everybody rotates their mobile phone. You can uh, pull up the fish, and uh, you finally get the fish on to your screen on the mobile phone. It seems a little bizarre, but um, there were lots of people who came. Uh, it was rather a bizarre scene. Uh, we do something which comes closer to pure art. Uh, Mr. Nanjo earlier explained about uh, the Singapore Biennale uh, in which we presented. Uh, these are holograms, uh, life-size uh, holograms of people, and uh, the audience can walk through. And uh, each of these softwares are independent, and uh, they're freely playing instruments or dancing. Uh, but uh, they are influenced by people around them, and they are also influenced uh, by those around them. So uh, there is sort of a harmony. In the end, uh, uh, the rhythm also becomes, uh, in the end, becomes unified, and it becomes an orchestra. When audi the audience come in, uh, some uh, jump uh, for joy when they find uh, an audience. And uh, the impact of that is felt, and then the harmony is lost. Uh, when the audience is quiet, uh, then uh, the figures influence each other, and uh, they are all in harmony. A harmony is established uh, to finally become an orchestra. And this will appear again later on, a hologram life-size realistic uh, artwork. These are actually possible. Uh, I will talk about this later on, so please keep this in mind. This is at the Tokyo Museum of Modern Art uh, in the summertime. Uh, this is a space art uh, exhibition. Uh, and this is life-size man-made satellite model. And uh, we had a series of uh, artwork on uh, waterfalls. And the way we make waterfalls is that uh, you find something to hit the waterfall. And uh, this uh, this time we used uh, the man-made satellite. Uh, we, this was incorporated onto the computer 3D, and uh, we would splash water onto it, and we do a physical simulation. And as a result of the physical simulation, 
the water particles are moved to draw lines, and uh, the collection of lines uh, uh, make up the waterfall. And uh, we place the actual thing in uh, the space in the room, uh, and uh, we uh, do a projection. This is a series of artworks which we did. Um, the man-made satellite has uh, gravity, uh, so the uh, water particles uh, roam around uh, the satellite. And you can apply that uh, to the city. This is a Saga castle. There's a castle called uh, Saga Castle. And uh, we took the 3D data first and calculated. And in the end, uh, we projected. In the city, you can apply the same concept, and it becomes an art form. This is uh, rather graphic, but um, uh, we're not uh, called in as artists. Um, we have pressure um, we, uh, to collect a lot of people. The uh, client does not want uh, uh, art, but they want people to uh, gather, and that's what we're asked to uh, do. The water screen, uh, the latter part was art. We're not being paid to do uh, artwork. Uh, we have to create things like uh, the real to attract a lot of people, otherwise it will be criticized by the client. We wanted just to do the waterfall, but that alone uh, wasn't sufficient to make the client happy. So we created a lot of cannons. Saga Castle, um, uh, it, during the Meiji Restoration period, uh, was known for the only site where they had uh, Western-style cannons. Or uh, there were some uh, blueprints of uh, these cannons uh, which were left from the time, and so we used it. The cannons in the middle have a, a trampoline, and this is uh, the uh, Team Lab trampoline cannon. When you jump on the trampoline, it makes a noise, uh, and if you jump uh, three times, uh, um, something is launched onto the castle, uh, which uh, makes the castle fall. Uh, the cannons are launched and uh, toward the castle, and the castle falls. <laughs> uh, we were called in uh, sometimes uh, to do pure art, and this is uh, what we have done. A huge space was created. And this is an art space which we created. People and Flowers uh, is the name of uh, the work. Uh, even without people, flowers grow and uh, they die. And uh, that's repeated uh, forever. But in relation to the uh, spectators, the artwork changes. If you go too close to the artwork, the flowers scatter. Um, the flowers die sooner than uh, it would uh, if the people hadn't approached them. This is, I don't know what this is actually. It's a certain country in Asia which they're creating and it will be released in uh, December or so. It's a huge chunk of uh, LED, and there are people on the top. It's a huge uh, mass of LED.
And uh, there's a big uh, mass of LED at the bottom uh, as well. And you can walk on it. It's all interactive. A physical simulation is done real time. So when people stand on it, uh, uh, the waters uh, s flow away from it, from away from the feet. Where people stand, uh, there are more flowers. Uh. And when people approach, the birds react. And up in the air, Up in the air, you have uh, masses of LED, and uh, the concept is the same as that of the Christmas tree. There are LEDs, uh, 3D, um, in uh, very high density, and you can create uh, sculptures of light. And uh, this is the sculpture of clouds. And uh, the sculpture, uh, which depicts a cloud, uh, flows from left to right. A uh, 3D sculpture of uh, the clouds. This is at House Tembus. Uh, there's a long canal there, and around the canal there were trees planted. We decided to make this entire canal a piece of art, and uh, this is a permanent uh, artwork uh, since uh, September. The uh, trees are lit up uh, from the bottom. When people approach the trees, the color changes. And uh, when uh, uh, the tree changes its color, it influences the other trees uh, to become the same color. And uh, the colors change from one tree to the other. Uh, the trees are influenced. It doesn't matter where the change in color starts. Uh, when someone approaches a tree, uh, the tree changes color, which uh, in turn influence, uh, influences all the other trees to change colors. So the entire canal is uh, an artwork. I showed uh, you the uh, canal earlier. And you could see that uh, actually there were street lamps there. And of course, uh, cars uh, passed. Uh, uh, but uh, with by lighting up the trees, uh, we can ensure that there's enough illumination. And so there's no longer need for street lamps. And so they were taken away. What I wanted to say actually was, you have uh, public uh, objects like uh, street lamps, uh, and uh, because they're public, uh, uh, the greatest common denominator type of approach is taken. Uh, and uh, these objects tend to be uh, boring. But if you use a digital control, uh, you can perceive uh, what the site is like, and you can make changes depending on the situation. And so these... Uh, uh, while guaranteeing that these uh, public uh, functions uh, are served, uh, you can uh, also add uh, an artistic aspect to it. 
in the future uh, there'll be uh, art interspersed uh, in not in cities, um, but you the city itself becomes an art form rather than art being interspersed in the cities. That is what I think will happen. So on the city and art, um, this is uh, our approach and our thinking. What we did at the Singapore Biennale could be done in the cities, and you can have holograms in the cities. Although I didn't show this one to you today, this is an interactive uh, installation artwork in the city, and it's fine if uh, these things are found in cities. When you think of cities, And, and since I am talking about the city and art uh, in Tokyo, I'd like to talk about uh, the 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games. And uh, I believe that perhaps uh, there'll be a complete uh, mental switchover in the next uh, Olympic Games. And leaving aside the technicalities, the 20th century is uh, where the mass media were central. All the uh, contents were such that uh, uh, they were for spectators. Uh, they were for spectators to watch. But now with uh, digital media and the network, what you look at, uh, uh, um, just being spectators is what pe uh, people aren't interested in. They want to participate. So in uh, Facebook and in Twitter, they want to participate. Uh, digital is such that the city itself becomes uh, media, uh, so uh, it's uh, more of an experience. Uh, uh, rather than listening to CDs, uh, people go to uh, live performances. So there's a rapid, uh, quick shift into uh, participatory art. The Olympic Games are a typical uh, spectator kind of thing. But uh, since this is a festival of the city, maybe we should change it to a participatory event. Maybe we can change it back to become a participatory event. Uh, for example, the opening ceremony. Let's skip the opening ceremony. That is a, um, a stage type of, a spectator type of, Olympic uh, Games, uh, to change that to participatory or experience uh, type of ex uh, event. And there are different things possible to uh, enable that to happen. This is a smartphone. Maybe you can't see. There's a candle. Uh, it's not lit yet. The candle is not lit. So you see a candle which is not lit. So I have a candle which is lit here, and if we uh, put them close together, the other candle is lit. Say uh, you have something like this, and you use something similar, and for example, torch relays. In the past, uh, only selected people uh, were torch carriers and other people were watching. But if you're doing a torch relay in the city, uh, all of the residents uh, should have uh, torches, maybe even uh, make-believe or toy torches. When the real torch comes, uh, if there are people uh, on the streets uh, with uh, toy torches, Those uh, here's the real uh, torch uh, ca carrier, and then uh, there are people around him uh, with uh, toy torches, and uh, they they all light up. And uh, when the people in the front uh, see their candles light up, the people behind them or next to them's candles also light up. And since these are digital devices, uh, you can control it after they've been lit. So uh, you can uh, produce images like this, or. 
since if there are lots of people, you can have, uh, and all of the uh, torches are lit, you can produce a, a gigantic uh, image. For example, uh, for the opening, in the past, the uh, openings were such that the stadium was the stage. It was a stage type of performance. Uh, there were actors on stage uh, in the stadium, and uh, there were spectators. The audience were just watching, and uh, people watching on uh, television um, uh, would have cameras uh, which uh, show uh, the performance as if they were actually uh, on the scene. Uh, on the uh, stages are such that you have scene one and scene two and scene three. When scene one is over, uh, the stage changes, the actors change, and there's uh, scene two. And then when that's over, uh, the actors and the stage uh, props also change. And that's uh, how uh, the story goes. But since most of the people watch uh, things through the media, uh, in the city you can uh, separate the scenes. And people who use uh, the media to watch, uh, um, if, uh, when uh, C1 is over, then uh, you can switch cameras uh, to scene two and C3. In the cities, uh, you can divide by scene. Each scene becomes a huge art installation. For example, when the opening is over, uh, each of the scene uh, becomes a huge art installation and you can keep it during uh, the Olympic game uh, season. For example, it could be something like this. This is one scene and it's an art installation. Uh, that's the beginning of the uh, opening, and the, the actors uh, can act here, and you uh, use the video to uh, film it. But then, uh, other than that, after that, uh, people can come here and experience the art. And when they experience all of the art, automatically, for example, it can be captured as uh, an image. And if you experience all of the art, uh, when you receive the video, at a glance, uh, uh, it's, it isn't different from the uh, uh, opening uh, scene of the Olympic Games, but uh, you are there uh, because you've had uh, video pictures taken uh, of when you were there. So it seems as if you were actually present in the opening uh, ceremony. I've, in the past, uh, on, um, on the stadium uh, or on the spectator seats uh, of uh, the stadium, you would watch uh, tiny athletes performed or you would watch things on the uh, television. But it's a uh, um, actually a scanning uh, process, which is very fast, which enables you to see things on television. Uh, say, if you use a hologram in the city and the real time, uh, you do a relay. Uh, this is a sh in a Shibuya of an athlete uh, performing. And uh, you see that he can't enter Starbucks. So he would uh, go over the Starbucks, uh, a pole vault uh, athlete. Uh, so you sort of uh, gain a different experience. You can see that he can't go into uh, Starbucks. And you can use present day technology uh, to do this. And you can uh, relay this real time. And the relay is also interesting. But after the relay, uh, this can be uh, uh, replayed over and over. Maybe uh, not a, um, a pole vault, but a 100 meter uh, race, a running race. You can run together with the athlete. And it's automatically filmed. And you receive a video. and. Uh, the camera work uh, as, as if it's the final race, uh, but and you yourself are taking part in this race, and uh, you, your part only finishes uh, at uh, 30 meters. And you can really participate and experience when you do something like this. Uh, 
I'm lost as to what I really wanted to say, but uh, this is the way it is. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you very much.